Iraq's Prime Minister is unharmed. A drone full of explosives only managed to damage Mustafa al kadimis home and injure members of his security detail. My residence was targeted by a cowardly attack, but thank God I'm in good health. Your security and military forces are working for Iraq's stability and protection. After what the government is calling an assassination attempt, gunfire rang out in Baghdad's green zone, a heavily protected area of the capital where al qadimi is located. It's supposed to provide safety to government officials and foreign diplomats. It's not clear who's behind the drone strike, but the attack was carried out during a standoff between security forces and supporters of pro-Iran groups. They've been camped outside the green zone for almost a month. They reject the results of last month's general election, which saw pro-Iran militias lose much of their power. Demonstrations turned deadly on Friday. One protester was killed at the end of a week when more than 100 people were injured. The Prime Minister called for calm then, as he is now. Cowardly rocket and drone attacks don't build homelands and don't build a future. We're working towards building our country by respecting the state and its institutions and building a better future for all Iraqis. We call again for calm and constructive dialogue for the future of Iraq. Since coming to power last year, al qadimi has been trying to find a balance between Iraq's alliances with the US and Iran. The UN Security Council has praised last month's election. There's no chance of protesters winning a recount. While no one has claimed responsibility for the drone attack, analysts say it's the militias who have the most to gain. Liz Maddock, TRT World.